thinking. Are you sure it's safe to play on the edge of a volcano like this? Yeah, it's safe, kid. It's extinct, isn't it? Well, I guess. Then don't worry. Besides, it's the best place to get a tan in all of Neighborhood X. If you say so, Fat Dog. We're coming at swoosh action figure! No! Costume, buddy. I'll get you a new one. You don't understand, Fat Dog. That action figure is completely sold out. It's a first-run swoosh with the right leg shorter than the left. It's priceless. It's history. Darn you all the heck! Darn you all the heck! <laughs> all right, quell the eye rivers, kid. The Fat Dog has a plan. Like my old grandmother used to say to me, she used to say, I've got a chair and I'm not afraid to use it, Fat Dog Mendoza. <laughs> Ooh, she was something else. Enough fond memories and recollections. Let's go get that action figure. Gee, Fat Dog, you've had a lot of bad ideas in your time, but this one actually works. Thanks. One question, though. Where did you tie the other end of the rope? Tie it? Heck, that's for amateurs. I'm up there right now holding the other end. You're up there. I sure am. Uh... <laughs> ah! <laughs> never would have guessed. Where are we? The center of the Earth or something? <laughs> nah. I'm pretty sure it's the center of the Earth. Great. Now what? Don't worry. I've got a plan of... No, 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 no. Hold it right there, fat dog. Sorry, but I've had enough great plans for one day. Hey, Piranha May, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go to the house of Dr. Rambunctious and borrow his drilling machine. Um, I don't want to. But he can drill down and get us. It's not that. It's, it's his daughter, Mavis. I just don't think I want to go over there. Piranha May, please! You don't know what it's like. I can't face her. I don't want to face her. I don't want to. I don't want to. Come on, 
Apple Ryan and May. We really need your help down here. What could be more important than the lives of your two best friends? Piranha May! Piranha May! Hang on a minute. <sighs> All right, I'll go. But if anything bad happens to me, you guys will be in big trouble. Like it could get any worse. Hey, little costume buddy. Come here for a minute. Since when did you start wearing size 13 boots? Fat Dog, do you know what this means? That you're shrinking? No, that we are not alone. Cut it out, Fat Dog! Sorry, just trying to heighten the mood. Fat Dog, we better get to the bottom of these mysterious footprints before they get to the bottom of us. Ouch! Not like that. Come on! It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Mavis probably isn't even here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. She's probably out terrorizing preschoolers or something. <gasps> Hello, Piranha May. Hello, Mavis. I see you're still wearing those contraband pigtails. Come to turn them in? No, never. Well, like I told you last time, this town ain't big enough for four pigtails, so yours have to come off. Look, we're just gonna have to put this pigtail thing on hold right now. My friends are in trouble and they need your dad to drive the drilling machine down to get them. He isn't home. He's at the scientist office inventing things. But I can drive it. You can? Sure. I can drive it better than my old man. Come on. <laughs> Are you sure you know how to drive this thing? Hey, back off! I'm an expert! Give me one of them. Yep, I do. Ah! 
Master Quadruped. He's the most evil, vile, four-limbed anti-superhero guy in the whole entire world. Yeah, he's real scary. The guy wears boots on his hands and feet for crying out loud. Look, just look at how evil he is. And he's got my prized possession, the swoosh action figure. And it looks like he's using it like some horrid voodoo doll. If only you could get it to stand up. <laughs> With my arch enemy, the swoosh, out of the way, there's nothing to stop me, Professor Quadruped, from completing my Professor Quadruped's diabolical plan. <laughs> Ah, success! Where's that pin? Quadruple darn! The poor guy. I kind of know how he feels. Here you go, Quadra guy. I, Professor Quadruped, appreciate your kindness. <laughs> Were you going to put that in there? I was. Allow me. Thank you. Take that, swoosh. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Maybe I should have had that extra pizza. Hey, ear clops, pass the antacid. <laughs> Have you gone completely crazy? You're helping the enemy. Well, I feel sorry for him. A guy with four little nubbin legs like these can really sympathize with a guy who has boots for hands. I'm not buying any fat dog. What are you doing? I'm driving. Ever since you freaked and curled into that fetal ball. Well, move over. It's my father's machine and I want to drive. I would like to get to the center of the earth in one piece, so no dice. figure I need it for my diabolical plan as I need my army of multi-limbed creatures which I have bred to fight for me <laughs> I am the evil professor quadruped I have four limbs and I will use them to conquer the center of the earth <laughs> but this is the center of the earth we won <laughs> uh, what uh, should I do now? Well, you could try and conquer the top of the Earth. I have four limbs, and I will use them to conquer the surface of the Earth. Fat Dog, you're never supposed to give evil supervillains an idea. The guy's struggling here. <laughs> I wish to enlist you into my army. You're a natural being a quadruped. Et voila! Well, you can be an honorary member. You're not making Fat Dog an honorary anything. And you're not going anywhere. There's no way for you to get to the surface. Take that, Professor Quadruped! It looks like your invasion is halted! Unless Fat Dog here has any more bright ideas he wants to give you. Hmm. Well, there is one. If we had the drilling machine, he could drive us out of here.
this is the most wonderful thing. I, Professor Quadruped, am happy. Now I can hitch a ride with you guys. In your dreams, four-limbed guy. But are not you forgetting your coveted action figure? All right, just leave the fully posable toy alone. Oh, quadruple down. Now my army, which is mine, drive, drive to the surface so that we may rule the Earth! Get out of the way! I have four limbs and I will use them to drive this thing. little girl with the pigtails. You drive. The pressure. The pressure. And I thought I had problems. You, the boy with the two hands and the mask, you drive. Okay, evil Professor Quadruped. I'll drive you to the surface. I can't believe it. Not you. Not you, little costume buddy. How could you turn your back on everything you believe in? I have four limbs, and I will use them to stop the evil Professor Quadruped. What did you say? Nothing. Oh, nothing at all. The evil Professor Quadruped, I have four limbs and I will use them to hurt you. And I also have an army of quadrupeds that have four limbs and will use them to hurt you as well. <laughs> now is the time of my revenge. Prepare yourself for battle, swoosh. Maybe he won't hit me below the belt. Darn thing won't go any higher! Let's get him, quadrupeds! Hold it! Hold it a minute. If we're gonna fight, I at least for one want to know what it's all about. What do you mean? Well, I know you represent all that's evil, and I represent good, and all that. But what's this really about? It, it wasn't but 15 years ago you sat on this very couch with us, as thick as fleas we were. That's it, exactly. I left a bag of barbecue potato chips right here on the couch when I went to the bathroom. And when I came back, they were gone. You, the swoosh, must have eaten them. Hmm. You mean these barbecue potato chips? The very same! So, I have wrongly accused the swoosh. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time. Can you ever forgive me? Mm, not a problem. Let's shake and be pals again. It's so hard to hold on to anything with no hands. Nice work, Mr. Mendoza. Now, if only you could find job re-education and placement for Quadruped's evil army, restore your friendship with the little mask kid, and make peace between the two little pigtailed girls, you'd have a perfect ending to your little adventure. But you're right. I'll do it! Hmm. What can you guys do? That's it! Don't even fat 
dog. I'm not sure I can ever forgive you for siding with the enemy. But, kid, don't you get it? It was all part of my secret plan to help Quadruped's army escape. Imagine those poor slobs down there forever with that guy. <laughs> Woof! Yeah, but I didn't know that was your secret plan. That's why they call it a secret plan, little costume buddy. <laughs> You two, you both have to learn to live together in peace and harmony. Look at the swoosh of Professor Quadruped. Look at me, a little costume buddy. Look at the fact that if you do, we'll have a perfect ending here. <laughs> I'd be happy to let the whole thing go. Really? 